Hello everybody, Grace Joe Blazer. We're checking out a game called Diesel Rail Car Simulator. You can probably guess what you do in it. You drive a diesel rail car. So this is going to simulate the 1960s British style diesel rail cars. And it's pretty cool. There's like 250 different things that we can do. Well, things. 250 different routes. There we go. Uh, a whole bunch of different diesel rail cars to get the opportunity to get behind. The cool thing about it is if you are a talentless hack like me and you don't have any skill with train driving or rail car driving. I don't know. Did I just offend a bunch of train drivers? Trains and rail cars. These are somewhat similar. They look somewhat similar. If you don't have any skill with it, you can go as simple as literally just hitting the, the W and the, or the up and the down key, I guess, depending on how you do your key binds. Uh, and just doing acceleration and braking and the game will do everything for you or on the other hand of the spectrum you can do it pro style and literally have to do everything between obviously the acceleration the braking the shifting how much pressure is in the lines the sway of the cars and you get graded on how well you do which means that our grades are probably going to suck let's give this a shot now the way I want to do this is I'm going to go right in the middle the cool part is that you have an easy you know, for, for schmucks thing, and then you have the one for the very skilled people, but you have something right in the middle where you can have different helpers, and they'll kind of just tell you what to press. So that's what we're going to do. Let's pick one of these routes here. I'm going to do, look at the stopping services, inner city services. Are those all, yeah, those are all like really long. Uh, line depots, main fast. Oh God. Uh, you know what? Let's go over here. We're going to go with stopping services. That sounds good. That'll get us moving from stop to stop. We got suburban ones. We've got rural. Suburban ones sounds pretty cool. There's a lot of different views in this. A lot of potential in this game. I'm going to have links in the description if you want to check it out yourself and kind of see what's up with it. Developer has a good thing going for, uh, for an indie developer in the train style of simulation camp. Let's go with... Uh, one of the 23 minute ones. Let's do Suburban stopping up that I-9 or is that 19? Little Green to St. Padding's Cross seems legit. So over here we can choose our helpers. You can have everything from simple control. So this is what gives you just like the up and down keys and that's literally all you have to do. And that's fine. You can just kind of wander around and look at the beautiful British countryside while drinking a beer and having a good time. Repeat controls, repeat gauges. Show target speed, show which key to press. That's the one I want. That one right there. So we can kind of learn what all the different keys do. And then preview root features. Let's keep those three on. I think it starts with four on the simple controls. I want to take that off so we could actually get the opportunity to drive this. Let's freaking do this. Now you have to be pretty damn punctual in order to arrive on time. I was messing around a little bit and I was like always two minutes late. I was like, what the hell? What do I have to do to get on time over here? It's like you got to inject yourself with friggin' crystal meth in order to be a railway driver. All right, right over here. Switch the control panel on with K. Got it. Up arrow. Set reverser forward. You know it. Open the throttle. Very good. Uh, what notch do you want it at? Apply the brake with C. Start the left-hand engines. Ready, boys? You got to hold them down. Oh, yeah. Does that sound, does that sound legit diesel right there? I remember in the beginning of the game, I couldn't get the engines to start, and I was like, why are they starting? And that's, I was like tapping the button. You gotta hold it down. You gotta let those engines warm up. Close the throttle. Release the brake with E. All these different gauges and stuff are legit. Like, they all work, too. Lap brake, got it. And you can kind of zoom by pressing the left-hand mouse button. There is a ton of of different views and we're going to check that out in just a little minute here people are probably getting on the train we're waiting to leave we're going to be departing at what is that 29 we should be departing right now all right time to sound the buzzer right here tap for buzzer sounding release the brake with e there goes all the pressure from the lines i think i did one other like semi-legit train driving simulator sound the high horn and then we're going to shift down, I think, to one. And then open the throttle. And I like going full. I open it the hell up because if we want to be on time, we really need to move. So you may think to yourself, Gray, pedal to the metal all day. You can't always do that. If you don't stay in the, uh, in the target speed, you get penalized, like, all over the place. Shift up. 
target's 25 miles an hour, so let's get there. What are we at right now? We're at right about 20. And what you can do, the other thing that you get penalized for, is utilizing too much energy. So when you can coast, you kind of want to coast. Ah, we can go a little bit faster. Let's see, our target speed should be going up pretty soon too. So I'm going to get us coasting a little bit. And then I'll probably just kind of show us a couple of the views. Oh, target speed's 40. Let's bring it down, shift her up, and then get it going. All right, so check this out. We've got ourselves a sweet-ass third-person view where you can go all over the place in this thing. You can zoom in and out with the middle mouse wheel. You can check all your different carts out. What do we have, four? We have four cars. There is like a Grand Theft Auto-style view right over here. Check this out. You get to see your train coming at you. That's the view I like. Cinematic style, baby. It's almost like we're getting freaking run over. No, don't do it, train. And then every once in a while, it changes. It kind of like moves around. Over here, we have, what is this called? The bogey view, I think it is, where you get to see all the, the sway of the suspension and everything. Supposedly, the suspension and sway is realistic. Rail car guys out there, I know there's tons of you. Let me know how legit it looks. Does it look legit? Inside we have a passenger's view. Kind of look at some of the seating and stuff like that. People do get on the train. Uh, looks like we've got to, let's go ahead and move on down to coasting. Let me get back in the, uh, back in the cockpit over here. Wants me to shift up. Yeah, we'll coast at right about here. We're right at about 40 miles an hour. So we're right about almost where we need to be. I think that's 40 miles an hour. That's definitely 40 miles an hour. So we're pretty close to what we need to do. It looks like Trilso, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is coming up. We're going to be picking up some scumbags looking to go to, I don't know, probably from work. It looks like it's either late or very early. I'm not 100% sure where the, uh, oh, I'm not 100% sure exactly where the sun's coming from at the moment. It's Britain, though. Is there, is there ever any sun over there? Doesn't it rain all the time? All right, we're coming up. It should be telling us to brake pretty soon over here. Throw down the old brake. Come on now. Yep, there it is. Apply the brake. How's our brake force doing? Uh, okay, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Pretty soon, I think it'll have us release the brake and then do the lap. Oh, there's another train over here. That's another thing, too. There is uh, computer-controlled trains that realistically go from stop to stop and everything. Release the brake. Very good. And now we should have the lap in here in just a second. Nice red-headed lady trying to get on the train, wondering where the hell it's at. There it is, right there. And that should bring us to a nice, easy stop. A nice, easy stop. Go ahead and throw it into neutral. And yeah, we stopped a little late. And by a little late, I mean we stopped pretty bad. Oh, God. Reverse, lap brake. Release, shit, release brake. There we go. All right, we had a couple people get on the train. That's pretty good. Sound the horn. Go ahead and shift up here. Let me get back into the freaking cockpit so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, shift back down to one usually. And then throw open the throttle. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, crap. All right. I think we're finally backed up, but we're, but we're one minute late at the very least. Yeah, we're one minute late. Leave it to Gray to get you where you need to go eventually. You may be a little bit late, but that's how it goes. Sound the horn. Shift down over here to one, and then I imagine, yep, open up the throttle. Let's get the hell out of here. See if we can get back on track. All right, so we're supposed to arrive at 736. Yeah, not a chance in hell. Uh, the speed limit is 40 miles an hour, though, so we should be moving along pretty good. Let's go check out another view over here as we do. You can do all your controls from the sweet ass views, so there's no reason not to do it. There we go. And shift. Open up the throttle. I kind of know where my throttling is, so I can kind of guess from time to time. But if you want, when you're inside the cockpit here, you can actually see your RPMs. I was going to say, are those RPMs? I guess they're RPMs. And they are. So let's go ahead and close. Shift. Open the throttle. We want right about 40 miles an hour. We're sitting at about 30. So we can definitely do a little bit more. I may have shifted a little bit early too. A wee bit early. You know how it is. Let's check out some of these houses around here, huh? How is this for the British uh, suburban area? Look fairly legit. Go pour, pour outside here. Where's my, uh, where's my helicopter view? There we go. Now we get to see some of the houses. 
looking good. Actually, that looks like a fair bit more property than I own. So I think everyone out here is doing quite well for themselves, it looks like. Are these like individual houses or are these like townhouses? Because uh, they look amazing. Like some of them almost look like schoolhouses or something. Very interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over into uh, Coast or Idle, I guess it's called on the actual gear set. Another train passing by, looking good. Let's go back inside of the, uh, let's go back over here by, I think again, it's called the bogey view or something. I love seeing the, the suspension at work. It just looks friggin' cool. Reminds me a little bit of Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. We're messing around with that game. What we got going on here? Our speed right now is at 40. Target wants us at about 46 to get there on the appropriate time. Yeah, we're still a minute behind at the very least. But I think we'll do all right. I'm gonna gain a little bit more speed here. Now I'm gonna close it up. We'll idle the rest of the way and it wants us to start applying the brake. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now normally it, it gauges you pretty damn good on when to stop. If you follow the directions appropriately, you're usually right on target. I mean, I'm very impressed. Like, for not having an actual legitimate tutorial, I can't believe how well this thing does. Let's go ahead and shift down a little bit. Open the throttle slightly. I'm not sure how far it wants me to open the throttle, though. You want me to go to full? I'll go to full. Don't mess with me. All right. Target. Shift up. Target 32, what are we at right now? We're right at about 30, okay, apply brake, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. As we roll into the station, lap brake goes on, and we should come to an appropriate stop this time. Oh yeah, this one's looking good. This one's looking good, right there. Right now, when you're done, it'll tell you exactly how close you were to the stop. So look at this stop, look at this stop, look at this stop. Come on, come on, come on. stop, 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 stop. Yes! <laughs> nice. All right. I'm, I don't know, every once in a while, I don't know why it tells me to, uh, like, do the brake and let go of the brake and do the brake and let go of the brake. There's our little doors opening and closing. Few people getting on. They don't appear to move. It would be cool if they moved. Sound the buzzer. Release the brake. The buzzer does not sound when we're outside of the cabin like that. We're gonna go ahead and let the pressure get out. We're gonna slam this thing. Sound the high horn. Shift down. Back into first, and I imagine we'll go ahead and open up the throttle in just a minute here, yes. All right, so we're one minute late. That's actually not terrible for old Greg. Uh, quite frankly, anything less than like three or four minutes late, to me, is pretty damn good. Target speed's 50 miles an hour, holy crap. So let's do this. Throttle down, shift up, get her going, right there. Again, I'm like shifting a little bit ahead of time. It seems like when you when you get the arrow right about there with your gauge, right about when you want to shift. Again, a nobody here when it comes to the realm of uh, especially rail cars and trains, kind of telling you what his ideas are. So right over here, it should tell us. Yep, right there. Close the throttle, shift it, bring the throttle up. Let's get up to 50. That's the plan. Anyone else around here? Nope, no one really yet. Let's go check the outside out. Like I said, I always love to look at, oh yeah. Look at this bridge right here. Look at that brickwork. Looking good, baby. Looking good. Actually, this whole area is very nice. For a random guy that did a train simulator, I gotta tell you, the look and the smoothness of the game is very good. It's almost got like a slight, I can't call it low poly, but it's got almost like that kind of feel to it. Let's see how we're doing over here. Almost ready to shift. Yep, we're gonna shift. There it is. Bring the throttle up. And that's our fourth gear. That is our fastest gear. It wants us at around 50 miles an hour. We've got two more stop left. Abbott's Grove and then St. Padding's Cross. And whatever score I get, if you guys do end up playing this game, you gotta try and beat it. So it wants us to save energy. Target is 47 miles an hour. We're not there yet. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait 42. All right, now we've reached our target. Throw it right now into idle. This is us saving, this is us saving uh, fuel. See, it being economical right over there. I think I think that little thing that we run over is a little buzzer. Every time I run over it, it goes Eep! Release brake. I don't know why it has me doing a brake right now. Maybe it just wants me going a little bit slower. 
Let's uh, go back over here into our into our cabin and check things out. We're right at about 35 miles an hour. Target's 37. So we're right about where it wants us at. Wants us at. Apply the brake, huh? All right, I'll do what you say. You want me to apply the brake? I'll apply the, apply the brake. Release brake. Oh, I see what it is. The target speed is too low. We're going too fast. It wants me to stay safe. So why right here does it want me to stay safe? Is it because there's some sort of, uh, oh, it's like an exchange. Look, there's another train right over there getting to prepare to get on the tracks. Oh, look at this mess of friggin' track work over here. Holy crap. The hell is this? Oh, yeah, our speed is, like, literally perfect. Hold on, let me get outside and see if... Check this. Look at all this. Look at all this track work. It'd be cool if there was a dude up in here. There's no one in there right now. Nice and languidly. Yes. Old, old gray station over here. Shift down. All right, let me get back into our... Let me get back over here. Where do you want me to shift down at? How far do you want me to shift down? Shift up. All right, I'll shift up. Ah, open throttle. I got it. It wanted me to shift down because our RPMs were so low, we'd never be able to get anywhere. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. So, think about this. I went from not knowing any of these controls to kind of knowing some of them. So, the game does do a legitimate good job at teaching you what you need to know to get from point A to point B. Suburban stopping at I-9. All right, Abbott's Grove. 743. We got another train passing by over here. Oh, we got two trains passing by. Hey! Busy track over here, boys. Busy freaking track. Yeah, we need to we need to book it. It wants us to go 60 miles an hour if we have any chance at making it on time. Actually, we're not gonna be that far behind. Maybe another minute or so. I'm coming, Abbott's Grove. I'm coming, baby. Don't you boys leave without me. Everyone's sitting there on their freaking I was gonna say their their iPhones and stuff, but it's the 60s. So I guess they're just looking at their wristwatches? I'm really not sure. Oh, close the throttle. Conserve some energy. Target speed is 51. Apply the brake. Oh, this is going to be a close stop. How's our brake pressure doing? Lap brake. Release brake. All right. Lap brake. Apply brake. Come on, come on. Slow it on down. Slow it on down. Target's 34, 33, 31. We're a little bit over. Not too bad, but we're a little bit over. Uh, 27, 26. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass by a little bit. Release brake. Alright, you're gonna have me lap in just a second. Come on, come on, come on. Looking good, looking good. There's the lap. And apply. There we go. Shift up. Ah, go into neutral when you're coming to a complete stop. Almost forgot about that. And here we go. Release brake. All right, man. One minute late. We're doing all right. Take your asses, people. Get on the train. We've got a schedule to keep. I see that freaking door open. Stop kissing your girlfriend goodbye and get on the damn train. Sound the buzzer. Release the brake. Get the hell out of here. Sound the horn. Shift down. Open up the throttle. Let's GTFO, boys. We are on time for departure. Last stop, St. Padding's Cross. This is it, man. Maybe we're going to do it. Holy crap, this is actually really far away. This is a seven-minute ride that we're going to do. So, if we can... Oh, close throttle. Oh, don't want to move too fast. I got gotcha. you. All right. Oh. Close, shift, bring it on back. There we go. How's our RPMs doing? Eh, it's okay. We'll gain we'll gain energy. There we go. Let's get back down. Let's get back down in our low cam. I love this camera. It almost makes me feel like uh, like something out of a movie. They always do this shot in every movie. Like every movie ever. Close throttle. Get ready for shift. There's the shift. Open throttle. There we go. Let's head back inside and see how we're doing right now. Should be at about half RPMs. Yep. Getting all right, man. Getting all right telling about where we are. So this is what it would be like being a passenger for old Gray. You're sitting back there probably wondering whether or not you're going to live or die. Every once in a while, you cup your hands near your eyes so you can kind of squint and zoom in and see what I'm doing. And be like, Gray, you jackass, that's not how you drive a freaking train. Well, guess what? For an old guy like me, this is the best I could do. I feel like I have to be like really boring when I talk about what we're coming up to next. You know, there's always like some nasally guy who's like, 
We are now uh, approaching St. Paddings Cross, uh, rival gonna be uh, 752. That's actually more like, it's actually more like planes. It's almost always how it is. Close the throttle. What's it want my target at? 56? Uh, okay, I'll close. Go ahead and conserve a little bit of energy. I think it does it in like jewels or something too. Apply brake, apparently we're going a little bit too fast. Will you have me release it shortly here? Lap brake, we're good. Target's 42, target's 41. Release brake. We are, we're going a little bit over. That's, uh, that's reckless driving right there. Reckless driving points right there is what we're gonna get hit with. Can you hear it? It's like, Arr! I don't know if that's the wheels kind of like grinding over the exchanges or what. Let's go check it out. See what it's like over here. Does it look like the wheels are gonna pop off or? Yeah, right over there. Look at that, right over there. I'm, I, I feel like I'm getting those wrong. I call them exchanges, but I don't think that's what they actually are. If that is what they are, then I don't know. I guess a, a lucky guess. All right, man, this is a nice long coast over here. Let's check out some of the scenery real quick. See what we look like over here in St. Paddings. Wow. Holy crap, talk about inner city. This is what I'm talking about. Well, inner city. I mean, it's more suburban than we've seen. This is a hell of a place. Look at this. Holy crap. Looks like, uh, looks like my street right over there. Apply brake. All right, why are we applying the brake? Target's 31 miles an hour, huh? All right. We must be doing a little bit over that lap release, okay? We got something coming up over here. What is this? What is what is all that right there? Look at all that. All that right there. See all that? What does that sign mean, everyone? I'll bet one of you guys knows. Let's go back over here into the cabin. See how things are doing. Uh, shift down, okay. Wants me uh, over in, oh, crap. I was doing the wrong thing. There we go. Open throttle, all right. How far do you want me to open it? How far do you want me to open it? St. Paddings Cross is still a bit ahead. Target's 25 miles an hour. What were we going at? Uh, we were at about 20, so it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, that's not what I wanna do. Holy penis. Okay, yep, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and coast. There we are. That's good. Go ahead and shift up and open throttle. I'm surprised it wants me to open the throttle at all. Here we go. Apply break. This is it. Coming up to the last one. Shift up. Want to go into neutral. Apply break. Lap break. And here we come into the final station. Release break. And we should, this should be it, man. We should roll right in here. And, oh, are we going to be two minutes early? I've never seen such a thing. Only 10 miles an hour here? Wow, we're not even at the station yet, and it wants us to go 10 miles an hour. Shift down. Oh, we're gonna have to, uh, we're actually gonna have to throttle a little bit to kind of get up in here because we are not where we need to be. Open throttle, all right. I'll open it all the way. 10 miles an hour is as fast as we're allowed to go though. So I'll get right up to about 10 and then I will, I oh, that's why we're so early, man. You gotta freaking idle your way damn near all the way in here. 10 miles an hour the whole freaking way. Close throttle. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. Fourth gear. All right. I think that allows you to idle a little bit faster when you're idling or something. And pretty soon, it should have me going into full stop. There we go. Apply the brake. Release. Shift up. Over into neutral. I'm getting the hang of this, man. Getting the hang of it. Hold on. Let's check it out. Let's watch it as it comes into the into the into the station over here. All right. Down shift. And open throttle. I don't know why it has me opening the throttle. It should have me like coming to a stop here in a little bit. I mean, I'll open it, but again, the game is very good at, whoa, 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 what the hell? No, ah! <laughs> and I crashed. I feel like that wasn't my fault, man. 3,673 score. Holy crap, that's what I'm talking about. Passenger comfort exceeded four times. Speed limit exceeded 20 times, collision penalty. That's bullshit. Uh, there's no reason for me that I hit that. Expected energy was 264. We, we consumed 293. So that doesn't look to be that bad. Root preview helper. And we got a couple other penalties. So there you go. 3,600 points. The very first time I played this game, I got like 193 points. So I did a lot better this time. And then you can see kind of how it expects you to do. 
and then this is what we did. So we didn't really do that bad. You can also uh, go over each one passed on time. Two minutes late, we left one minute late. We were 49 feet off on our stop. Uh, that time, in uh, Barton Norton, we stopped perfectly, but we were late. 24 feet off, but we were on time for leaving. And then over here, we stopped nine feet off. We also smashed into the friggin' last friggin' stopping area. So thanks a lot for that. Anyway, what do you guys think? of Diesel Rail Car Simulator. Cool little game, man. It's just very, very, um, like, relaxing to play. You get to see the different countrysides. You get to mess around with the rail cars. Like I said, there's, like, 250 routes. And then you can try and beat your score and stuff like that. Again, links are in the description below. Let me know what you thought about in the comment section. Until the next time, folks, Zay Fox, see you much love. <laughs>